This is the, uh, the core of the biodiesel processing arrangement. This is a Swedish machine. It's from a company called Agiratech and uh, we bought it. We've modified it quite extensively because we found that it didn't, uh, in its original configuration, it didn't work particularly well for us. Uh, but with the mod modifications that we've made, we're, we're really happy with it now. Uh, it was originally set up to produce 3,000 litres of fuel a day. Uh, we're now able to produce 6,000 litres of fuel and if we get it exactly right, we think we'll get to 9,000 litres of fuel a day from this system. The chemistry with this is no different to the chemistry that people use in, in backyard biodiesel uh, manufacture. It's very straightforward. Uh, essentially, it's vegetable oil mixed with methanol with potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide as a catalyst. Um, you mix them in the right proportions. You allow them to, to settle. Uh, you get glycerol as a uh, glycerol is comes off as a, a bottom layer that you remove, and at the end of that process, you're left with raw biodiesel, which then has to be has to be cleaned up. So the next stage in the process from the raw biodiesel is that you recover any excess methanol that's been uh, that's that's still left in, uh, and then you wash the biodiesel to uh, to take out any uh, residual catalyst and any soaps that have been produced in the process. And it's not really any more complicated than that. The methanol component, and people would have to be really aware of this, uh, methanol is, a, is a, a volatile and dangerous substance to deal with. It has to be handled properly uh, and people shouldn't just play around with it. It, it is very much a, a, a one of those don't do this at home type, type arrangements. It's got to be, uh, it's got to be properly set up. The, uh, uh, the systems have got to be properly set up. You've got to make sure that, you, that you're not getting leakage and, and whatever. Uh, but that aside, it really is a very straightforward, uh, straightforward deal. A number of different ways that people are looking at to, to wash biodiesel. We use a water wash system for a number of reasons. Um, it's pretty straightforward and it works. Um, there are a number of people now trialling and using uh, dry wash arrangements for, for washing their fuel. Um, I've heard Mixed reports, some people are doing really well, other people are not too happy with the results that they're getting. So clearly uh, there are arrangements that work and others that, that at this stage don't work so well. That's not something that we've looked at particularly. We've got access to water and through later systems that we use, we can recover uh, a lot of the water uh, that's, that's used in our wash system. And so it's, it's not really an issue for us.